Welcome to another vlog in Taiwan. It's early in the morning and I've decided to grab some local breakfast nearby. I met this little one on the way there. So cute! There's another one there. Desperate to get attention. I literally found this place from Google Maps and the rating was relatively high so I thought why not giving it a go. The one I wanted to try was a classic Taiwanese breakfast menu called Dan Bing. They've got menus in different languages, so it was very easy to order. Um, can I please have one? Mm. Okay, mine is a Kerango okay. cheese. Yeah. And uh, also, is it too much to order this one as well? Yeah. No, too, too uh, much? No, no, no. It's just, one? Uh, just one person. Okay. Okay, okay so this one as well. Like one person. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. perfect. Oh. Um, Soy milk with yeah. the savory one. No, no sugar. What would you recommend? What is uh, a little sugar. Little sugar yeah, maybe, yeah. And, okay, okay, okay. what a moment. You could think of it as an egg pancake or a rolled crab. I also have these dumplings as well, xiaolongbao. I reckon it's worth trying if you're nearby, but I'm not exactly sure that I would travel far just for these, if you know what I mean. It's time for a convenience store snacks run. I was already quite stuffed from earlier, but you just can't say no to them, can you? As you can see, they've got such a variety, but I only grabbed a few for later. I'm off to work now. Most taxi drivers I met, they don't speak English at all, so I always had to show them the original address written in Mandarin. I just pop out for a quick coffee takeout. The weather was so lovely. Two hundred fifty, yeah. I had no idea why I was carrying that drawstring back thingy all along, leaving my wallet somewhere. <laughs> but yeah. Grabbing some chocolates as well to pair with our coffee. So yeah, I just got off work and I'm heading off to one of the famous night markets in Taipei. My feet were literally killing me so I bought these slippers at the shop in the tube station. I jumped into the main street of the market and it was way too busy. Yep, it's packed with people as you can see.
As for street food, I wanted to try something that local people actually have rather than touristy kind of food. And I picked stinky tofu, my first ever try. Be careful when you eat it, it's really, really hot. The thing is, I didn't even know it was stinky tofu until I had half of this. Oddly enough, I was just drawn to the smell in the first place. I actually really liked it. I think I'll probably go back for these. These are some chewy, potatoy sort of snacks. They are slightly harder than I expected. Nothing particularly interesting, I would say. I got all thirsty, so I ordered this passion fruit juice. And it was unbelievably sour. There was a shooting game, so I can't miss it. I got a card game thing as a prize. I went for a walk along the river and didn't really feel like heading back yet. So I came to another pub in the market for another round. I ordered interesting skewers kind of thing. But I wasn't a fan, so I was just sticking with my beer. And suddenly, it just started to pour. It's not like it's raining, it's more like it's chucking it down. Still, I really like the whole rainy market beer drinking situation here, so I was just like, couldn't care less. Let me just enjoy this vibe and finish my beer first. When the rain eased up a bit, I ran to the nearest store, bought an umbrella and immediately took a taxi to get to the hotel. Funny enough, by the time I arrived, it had all stopped. Typical. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to see some more vlogs in Taiwan, please let me know. I'll bring you another episode.